Welcome everybody to UO Evolution. Today I'm going to show you what the labyrinth looks like, and I'm going to also show you the ins and outs of the labyrinth. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how to get there. It's really simple. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to this teleporter that somebody's on and whatnot. So here we go. So from here you can start at the public movement gate, go to Malice Dungeons and go to the labyrinth. And then there we go. Now from moving on from there, you're gonna see this crystal. Double click it. One, two. Alright? Now you see monsters and this, that, and the other. And possibly a quest giver, but we're gonna go ahead and double click these doors. Now going in here, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about it here. So there's different monsters, there's different th there's different uh animals like you don't see squirrels in many places and well you definitely don't see a pearl guardian anywhere except for here so moving on just kind of a little maze setting just a, a little it looks about straight through so seeing this yeah it doesn't look too bad but it also gives you a chance to see kind of what is around okay so now i hear these are really hard so let's go ahead and explore it really quick Oh my, yeah, he's got pretty, he's pretty strong. He or she is pretty strong, but we're not going to know. Unless we fight it, but, you know, I'm not going to fight it right now. Because I can't, <laughs> which is okay. But anyway, so the labyrinth is pretty fun here. So just, just going off the path there for a minute, but this is, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. So this is kind of the area where, yeah not so fun monsters are and they kill you pretty good but staying on the path you can look at all this wonderful fun stuff you can go in these little spots here but then just to keep going here do to do to do gonna go up we would go up the stairs but first I want to show you a little bit uh, around here that's not the stairs you can see all these different kinds of monsters flurries more flurries tempest oh man mistrels but yeah, this is awesome stuff. Now, in other shards, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. Uh, really quick, uh, you know, I've played on other shards, and I have seen that this little area that we're at has something called a miasma, which is a, a scorpion-looking deal, but, you know, they're pretty fun to fight. However, that's not the case here that I don't see, but I do see that, uh, you know, two wrens, and they're not fun to whatnot, because... A while ago I tried to deal with them and I didn't do so well. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. So now we're just going to just go up the bridge here. There we are. Ooh, look at this fun stuff. Now just be careful because there's no railing and you can fall like that. Ouch. <laughs> oh, man. And sometimes you can be in a world of hurt. So also keep that in mind uh, when you're doing so and even right here you can try to oh try to go over but still you're gonna have that issue oh okay so moving on so here we go we we're gonna go around so here boom, boom, boom. oh look another rend let's just lower this one really quick wow still pretty strong not impossible to kill, but uh, still not fun. And there's more. All right, pretty simple. And we go into these little places here, yeah. But staying on the path, as you can see, the path will le eventually lead you somewhere. Now, can I go there? No. Can we just teleport? Nope, can't teleport. Mm -hmm. Can't teleport in here because sometimes it can be too easy you teleport because I know some like I said you know some shards and I keep risk uh, referring to shards other shards uh, you can teleport onto this little platform here and these creatures can't really get at you like this one these one this uh, guy here they don't cast spells I don't think they do so we're gonna look so yeah they don't cast spells so it's pretty safe if you're able to teleport there but in this shard you owe evolution. Well, you don't. You don't really get to teleport on there, but that's all right. Anyway, so moving on. So, do to do. Here we go. Hmm. 
Hey, look at this broken area. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, can't really do much there. Oh, but anyway, so... Now, I don't really know too much about this area because I don't come here enough, but I do want to show you what is here. Let's see, a pyrie. All right. Let's lower that thing so you get kind of an idea what you're up against besides the other monsters that we've seen. Okay. Oh, oh wow. So they, they got some pretty good matrix. So there you go. I'm going to leave those things alone. <laughs> As you can see, I've been going off this path for a while, and oh yeah, there's little things, I guess, to pick up, but you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to pick that up. I will move things if I need to. All right, now can we go in here? Yep. Now here we are in. I'm not sure what to call this, so I'll just, for the sake of argument, we'll just call it the courtyard. And look, there's another rend, and there's a tormented minotaur, so we get to kind of see a little bit about it. See this a little bit. And, well, that's about it, really, here. Now, again, I don't really know very many secrets about this place, but that is for you to, to discover. Yeah. So now, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back the other way. So, just go and. Wow, this is fun. Anyway, so here we go down the stairs. So, a pretty straightforward walkthrough. Uh, what monsters to see? What's available? And let's go ahead and let's lure this tormented minotaur so we get kind of an idea. If you guys are ever wanting to fight or come in here and fight, because honestly, I don't see very many people coming into this labyrinth. But it's alright. Oh, let me let, we'll lower that thing one more time so we can see exactly what we'd be up against. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, so they don't got any matri, but they, they, from what I hear, they can still do a wallop. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead with, so we'll go ahead and walk back. Hmm. And check out these little places. Nice. Okay. So again, you can't really teleport here. Alright, now I'm just going to move this thing out of the way. There we are. Just kind of walking back so we can see if you ever decide to walk back. So just, we'll just do. Now it's up for you. Now it's up to you to discover if there's by any chance any secrets here. Anything stealable, anything you can pick up besides the thing I picked up and moved. Uh, anything that's hidden. We don't know. Oh, but anyway, let's uh just for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and let's see what we're up against here with flurries. Okay, so yeah, they're uh, they're all right, but anyway, so going back up here, just walk around or run. But now uh, let me try this. Oh yeah, can't really do anything right there. All right, all right, but walking back here we are. So it's kind of kind of a one path maze I guess I'm not sure how to describe it but I can say that there is quite a bit of spawn in here and quite a bit of hard spawn uh, not only to mention that uh, yeah you got one of these guys let's let's lure him just for fun Ooh, he, he just got some pretty good hits and lots of mana not very well winded right and, as you can see, barding difficulty, look at that. Uh, whoa, you can't bard these things. That's all right. It's a pretty good resist, except for cold. So cold is your your best chance. And base damage pretty good. Look at that wonderfulness. Wow. 
major E. Okay, anyway, so you gotta you gotta see that. So anyway, uh, you can see that it is a pretty straightforward dungeon. Not easy by any means. However, it is challenging, like I've mentioned before. And with it being challenging, it just kind of gives you that sense of, I conquered it. But anyway, so this was the labyrinth. So now I'm going to show you once again how to get there and find any teleporter, like any public moon gate. But me, I have a personal one. Not everybody has a personal one. So here's a moon gate. We'll just use that. So once this menu pops up, we're going to go to the Malice Dungeons, go down to the Labyrinth, press the go, go up here to the crystals on this pedestal, double click, and this is where you're going to end up. Go through the doors, double click. There you are. Pretty straightforward on how to do it. And then the rest is up to you. So let me go ahead and get out of here. UO Evolution. It's a great shard. If you haven't checked out the shard yet, be sure to do so.